GPs in Norwich are under pressure. Growing numbers of patients needing more complicated care, with a large number of doctors preparing to retire over the next few years. A list of problems for a service feeling a little under the weather. But now what they hope could be a solution. An alliance between 23 of the city's practices to work together, share resources and try and speak with one voice. General practice has been struggling for some time with uh, the, the pressures. They aren't any different to elsewhere in the NHS. There is less people coming into general practice. We are looking after patients with increasing complexity in the community. And the resources that the NHS has are, are um, uh, not as, as great as we would like them to be. The Alliance has been in the works for a year and has been taking on ideas and best practice from all across the country and is now being known as One Norwich. It might sound like a set of buzzwords, but they say it's about delivering a more joined-up health service, with the end intention of improving patient care by simply freeing up doctors' time. A nursing home may have a visit by five different general practitioners, all from five different GP practices, which takes an hour of their time. It might be far more efficient if we had just one general practitioner who visited all five patients and did that over a 45-minute period thereby freeing up time for the other GPs to do other work and spend more time with their patients. It all comes at a time of great change for health services across our county. Earlier this autumn saw the beginning of a new sustainability and transformation plan for health and social care in Norfolk. Some critics are sceptical, saying it's just finding ways to make cuts. But health bosses insist it's about finding ways to work better and make more of what they already have. Nicholas Carding's the health correspondent at the Eastern Daily Press and thinks it's now a common sight, finding ways to work smarter. Health bosses are trying to explore new ways of creating services, but they're not being given extra resource to achieve that, which means that they have to work with what they've got. I think the difficulty that the GPs have um, is that they are working in a quite a traditional environment where change has been very slow uh, in many years. Uh, now they're having to keep pace with, um, with demand and that's throwing up new challenges, which is why they're desperate to, to work together to, um, to resolve those issues. It's early days yet for this new alliance and could mean changes to how they offer services going forward. But the doctors say it should mean more time for them spent with the people who matter most their patients. Neil Perry, Mustard TV, Norwich.